Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our decreased tutorial of how to turn your C to C into a rectangle. To turn your C to C into a rectangle for the decrease, you are going to need stitch markers. I, uh, you just actually need two. A red one and a green one. If you don't have stitch markers, you can just use two scraps of yarn. So I'll show you both ways. But what you're going to do is you're going to decide, I've done 10 rows, so now I'm going to decrease on one side. So decrease means stop. I'm going to put red on the side that I am stopping on. And I'm going to put green on the side that I'm going to continue. And that's just going to be a little indicator of where I stop and where I keep going. So one side we're going to decrease, one side we're going to build, and that's going to give us a rectangle. So to start your decrease, you're going to turn your work, like always, at the end of the row, and you're just going to slip stitch up into these stitches. So not into this very first one, because we have our um, loop there, but into the second one here, into the second stitch, we're just going to slip stitch into that one. And into this next one here, we're going to slip stitch. So that's our second slip stitch. And then into the space, our normal chain three spot, we're going to slip stitch. So that counts as slip stitching into the chain three space. So we're just going to keep going with our chain three and we're going to build our block and work up our staircase or along the mountains. So three double crochet. You're just going to keep going like this across the row. Slip stitch to join. Building your blocks and I will meet you at the end of this row. When you get to the end you're going to keep going like normal. So slip stitch into that last block where your stitch marker is and build your block. So you do your chain three and your three double crochets into the chain three space. And now because we're on the green is go side, we are going to chain our six. So I chain three, pinch and chain three, and then build your block. So into where you're pinching or the fourth chain from the hook double crochet and one into each stitch going back or each chain. So we're building a block. When we get to the green we build a block. Turn up our mountains and slip stitch to that first stair to join or the first mountain. Chain three and now build your blocks all the way back along this side until we get to the other stitch marker. If you don't have these cute stitch markers, the other thing to do is you just take a loop of your, of your yarn. I just do it the same way. Put your hook in on that side into a space, into a spot. Loop of yarn on your hook. Bring it up and just slip stitch to join that and pull it through. So you just do a really loose um, join of your yarn and then when you get to this yarn you know that that's also a stop. And you can do the same on the other side if you don't have the cute stitch markers. Luckily I do. But that's how you would do it. So keep going and I'll meet you when we get over here. When we get to the side with the red stitch marker into this last block we are going to do our chain three and our three double crochets into the chain three spot. And we're going to slip stitch to join. So it's like that. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to slip stitch up this way. So I'm going to go into that first stitch, slip stitch, 
next stitch, slip stitch, next stitch, slip stitch, and into the chain three. So this one gets four slip stitches when we're joining to the other block. And that just looks like that. And we can move our stitch marker now onto this edge. So not this side, now we can move it onto this side. And now you can just leave it there. Just You can keep moving it up so you can see it. You know when to stop. And you can see now we have a little rectangle started. So this side is 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this side can we see it? Yes. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blocks. So we're starting to build our rectangle and now you can keep going for as long as you want your length of your rectangle to be. We started doing a rectangle when we had the width. So when, we, when the skinny side or when our triangle had reached the same uh, length as our skinny side, we wanted our skinny side to be, then we started doing our uh, decreasing on one side and increasing on the other. So now we're building our length of our rectangle. So now keep going like this for as long as you want your rectangle to be. And build your way all the way back along this side. When you get to the green side, you're going to go. You're going to build your block, turn and come back. And when you get to your red side, you're going to stop and you're going to do your slip stitches all the way up. When your rectangle is the length you want it to be, you can also start decreasing on this side. So take off your green stitch marker or your green yarn, and you're just going to be decreasing all the time now. So no more building blocks. So now on this side, you're also going to do a decrease. So slip stitch into that chain three spot, turn your work, and slip stitch up this side. You can decide if you want to go into that very first stitch. Just slip stitch so your work looks neat. Personal preference. And slip stitch into the chain three spot. That one you must do. And now we're just going to build up this side as well. So now we're just decreasing at every single edge. No more chain six. So now keep decreasing. We'll keep building your staircase or your mountains. If you want to remember an easier way also, you can put a red stitch marker on this side too. And then red means stop everywhere. And you can move this one up if you want to. But you're probably going to remember without stitch markers at all, but just in case, feel free to use them. So now your rectangle is taking shape this is going to be getting smaller and smaller and smaller and it's going to finish up here. So you can kind of see how it's going. Yours will look that way too. So I'll meet you when we are almost finished. So I'm getting close to the end. Just slip stitching that last block of the second row or second to last row. Slip stitching up. into the chain three spot, slip stitch. And then this is our very last block. Once it's attached, you can see, wow, I mean, that was so quick. So chain three and build your block into this spot, the chain three space. Slip stitch to join into the chain three space as usual. So that's joined. And now we're just gonna chain one and cut our yarn, pull our hook up and our yarn out, snug that down to secure. This tail we'll have to sew in with a needle and then check it out. We made a rectangle. Love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share with your friends and stay hooked.